What is up, everybody? Oh, I just knocked a water bottle over. Sorry about that. But it is King Kunta, and uh, we've got another gold farm uh, in store for you guys today. So, yeah, that's what you guys are here for. And if you are subscribed to the channel, welcome back. And if you're not subscribed, well, maybe after the video, you might be a subscriber. So, uh, I definitely uh, hope you guys look forward to this farm that we're going to show you. So, we're just going to clear the slate. We're going to start everything right off brand new. First things first, bear tartar. You need it. Quick. Go get that stuff. Second thing you're going to want is you're going to want to know what we're farming. Definitely, you know, it's quite a very valuable uh, question. And today we're going to be farming Primal Air. Now, some of you may or may not know about this, uh, Matt. And some of you have probably already quartered their market and completely destroyed it, if you do know about it. And if you do, we don't like you people. I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't like people I ruin markets like that. But... We're going to teach you how to farm it if your market is not ruined. So as you can see, this is what it is currently going for on my server. Now, depending on your server price, it can be quite a bit more. As you can see, I've got one guy here just kind of posting at a cheap price over and over. So what my method would be, um, this is just my own method, not just this is just a little bit of gold tip advice. If someone's doing this on your server and it's not a lot and you can afford it, I recommend buying out all these and relisting them all because then you can fix your server. You can reset your auction house prices. It's expensive, but it does work. But we do want to learn how to farm this. So in order to farm this mat that we're looking at, uh, we need to go to the Outland, and we need to go to the Outland that is not the Draenor version. So we need to know how to switch back the Outland to the normal one, not the Draenor one, and also where to farm. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to cut the video, and I'm going to teach you how to do everything uh, like that. If you already know how to do that, you can just go ahead and skip towards the farming location. It won't be uh, much further away. So basically, we're just going to cut the video now, and I'll see you in just a second. All right, everybody, we're back, and as you can see, you're probably wondering where the heck we are at. We are located in Shadow Moon Valley, which is in the Outland. And the easiest way to get here is from your capital city, you're going to have to take the portal. And then from the portal there, wherever it takes you, um, it took me to Nether Storm, and obviously in some place, I, uh, and I took the flight path all the way back. And, or all the way to uh, Shadow Moon Valley. And I found that was kind of the easiest way to get here unless you have a port or something. I'm sure I'm missing a way to get to Shadow Moon Valley quicker that one of you will know about some toy or something. <laughs> and you guys will let me know in the comments. Trust me, I know. But uh, we're really only going to be farming one mob here. So we're going to be farming these Enraged Air Spirits. And now these actually do have quite a good chance of uh, dropping uh, modes of air in so much in fact that i've actually seen some people uh from farms uh like this one and just their their rng was insane and i've actually seen people like pick up at least like one every other mob and it was kind of insane in what i was watching and obviously uh this farm wasn't exactly 100 percent original of an idea i learned about it from another uh, sorry another youtuber which i will give full credit in the link in the description below because who doesn't like credit for what they've done, obviously. I'm not sure where he learned it from, but could be somewhere crazy. And I'm just kind of inform informing you guys. So, obviously, there are a few ways we can go about killing these. Uh, you can leave the video now. Obviously, you don't want to watch the rest, but I'm just going to kind of explain some of the most efficient way to farm this possibly. So, if you're one of those people that wants to make the most out of your time and your money, uh, stuff like that, stay for this part. So... The easiest way I found this, if you are not a droid, um, obviously I recommend you become a droid uh, before you farm gold because it's just it just makes every farm so much easier. Uh, there are other instances where some other classes might be a little bit more useful, but the fact the droids are so much more useful in every scenario, I find that just you really need to main a droid if you're going to be a farmer, at least uh, a hardcore one. And if you're not, you really need bear tartar because. These mobs, I'm not sure what is up with these <laughs> slope little things right here, but you get caught on every single one of them. And if you have to mount up over and over again, it will get quite irritating. As you see, I just got one there. But with a droid, you can nuke one and then go right into flight form. And you don't even have to exit flight form to actually uh, loot the body, which is quite great. Um, so those are just some of the recommendations I... Uh, recommend you take obviously now this farm is infamous for being a farm where many players will get together group up 
um, one way or another in different areas and they will all nuke them down because they can actually get these uh, mobs to force spawn. So what I mean by that is uh, what, what you'll have is where these mobs spawn, as you can see, they're all right here currently. You have one guy here, one guy here, and one guy there, and another one around another area. And you all just keep killing them. Now, as you're doing this, since they can be part of a quest chain, they are going to respawn over and over and over and over again. And if you are able to do that, um, it is definitely the most efficient way of farming this, uh, just because of the pure volume you're going to get. If you don't have uh, a group to do this with, that is okay. You will still make gold, potentially not as much if you do have a group. But I highly do recommend you guys go into looking for a group, which is over here, pre-made groups. And uh, a lot of them around your area will generally have some sort of group. And uh, you can kind of just, it'll hop you over the server and you'll be in their group. And you guys can do this farm. So what I'm saying is don't underestimate the uh, ability of other players in your uh, server to, or realm, sorry, to be, uh, I want to say, farming other mobs and open for other people because a lot of other people will be doing this farm as soon as I post this video. I guarantee you, if after I post this video and it, it does, like, if it does more than 100 views, which I, I hope it does, obviously. Uh, you guys should just go look for a group, and I guarantee you, you guys will find a group for this farm, because this is quite, I don't want to say it's common, but after I put this video out, I know every, every one of my subs is going to see it, and I, I do notice that I do have a decent amount of subs on my realm, uh, in general, and after I post these videos, I just have people flocking to these spots. So, uh, I do recommend you guys look for group, because if you don't look for group, um, it's kind of gonna be not the greatest time. I mean, you're still gonna get by. You're just not gonna make as much. On servers where an entire um, primal uh, air actually, um, when or er, uh, where primal air sells for around like, uh, I mean, I've seen servers that go to like 14k, maybe even uh, or not 14k. Sorry, uh, 1400 uh, gold. So that's 1400, and then 1200 gold, and uh, they they they're pretty good. Uh, if you if you have one of those servers, I recommend you go do this now. If you look on your server and the price of it is that much, you need to go uh, do this now instantly because the prices on your server are going to get nuked real fast just like the ones you saw on my server those used to be way higher until people started finding out about this and it kind of died out a little bit and now I'm kind of bringing it back to light so it is going to be uh, quite a bit more difficult so like I said go do this farm as soon as you see it if you wait four or five days you are not going to be able to make the same amount of money you are nowadays now the sell rate on these is not uh, super great but it's also not bad either so what I'm saying is it's not gonna sell off like uh, brand new mats uh, out of Legion you know that's not gonna sell but we also don't want to sell the brand new mats out of Legion because they're literally worth like 10 gold where if you do this and you sell you know maybe a stack every uh, you know two or three days you're still making quite good gold from this very very simple farm it's so simple the fact that it's actually like mind numbing especially if you have a group of people that are dedicated and you guys can all get together you guys will wipe out this farm and you guys will make thousands of gold but i am telling i am literally begging you you guys are my subscribers okay you chose to watch this video i am begging you to go do this oh 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 wow okay but it like I'm begging you to go do this farm now. Go do it now before you guys don't have a chance to. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about the farm. I'm just going to go ahead and, and give some updates uh, pertaining to the channel. If you don't want to watch these, you can go ahead and leave the video now. That is fine. I'm not going to be hurt by it. But if you leave a like on the way out, I also won't like be as unhappy. Yeah, that's just a little hint. But anyways, I'm just going to talk about the future of the channel. Um, I do plan on uploading daily. Obviously, after the internet is fixed and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and be bringing more content out to you guys. Not necessarily gold farms, but I'm going to try to bring out content that you guys will find useful. Um, I will still be bringing out gold farms. Do not get me wrong. Those will still come out. I think I'm just going to try to keep merging other videos that will kind of help the player base into there. Like the other day, I posted one about how to actually get free uh, World of Warcraft game time in a way that I've actually done in the past. So if you guys... Uh, are looking for game time actually right now they're doing a free uh, weekend I think until June 24th where you can actually play World of Warcraft uh, for free until then 
which if this isn't an indication that they're trying to get players back and that that method works now more than ever i don't know what is <laughs> so like go do it please um if, if you're in that situation obviously but if not then you don't really you know not obligated but i'm just gonna keep trying to slide more videos out there that I think the, my community will find helpful, but also you will also be getting your gold farming content that all of you guys subscribe for in the end. So do not unsubscribe from me just because of that. You will still be getting tons of gold farms, especially once Battle for Azeroth drops. Once all those new farms come out, you guys are going to be World of Warcraft millionaires and you guys have no idea. If you guys hold out and stay at this channel long enough to BFA, you guys are going to have so much gold if you follow what I tell you to do. So um, that's really all I have to say uh, at the end of the video. If you did like it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, that even helps. Also, check out the links in the description below because uh, I've got all my recording gear, all that good stuff. Uh, if you plan on trying to start a YouTube channel or something like that, which I actually recommend you guys do. Uh, it's not easy, but it's quite an experience, and it's something you guys will take with you through the rest of your life. And uh, that's really all i got to say. Uh, yeah, so... I guess uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video, and I love you all. Goodbye.